And welcome to the start of Eggman Sonic Simulator in Sonic Colors. So the red rings that we've been collecting. Oh, that's right. You can change color. Yes. Let me see. They feel so right. Uh, sorry, I'm so fascinated by this. I. Uh, oh, you know what? Because. Second player is by default red. I'm upset now. Darn. You know what? We're gonna be pink, because why the hell not? Anyway, um so what this is is actually a multiplayer mode, but it can be played single player. And the reason you want to do single player as well, uh, uh, look at those objects above the sets of numbers so you can pretty much guess where this is going but yeah let's just get started to act one of game land each uh there's three acts per i guess zone you could call it and what's interesting is in most of the zones one of the acts is actually based off of a level from the original sonic one so right now we are actually in Green Hill Zone Act 1. Whenever you play a zone that's based off of a Sonic 1 level, you won't have any color powers to utilize. I guess just to keep it one to one to the level itself. But they're pretty easy, really brief. What I have behind me is actually a second Sonic that I can control. Actually, that's how I'm gonna. P <laughs> that is exactly how I'm gonna play as Red Sonic. There we go. Bam! Red Sonic. Suck it, system. I cheat. All right. <laughs> So because this one isn't based off of Sonic 1 level, we're going to come across color powers, baby. And just utilize them. There's no ranking system in these. You just have to beat them. It doesn't matter what your score is, really. You can play this with another friend. Like I said earlier, y'all can either cooperate or try to go for, I guess, compete for the best score because you can stun your a friend by just homing attacking them. I think you can stun them by sliding into them as well. But there are some cooperative benefits to playing this mode. So whenever you and your friend use a color wizard at the same time, you will actually combine and you can make stronger versions of color powers we already know about, or you can even create new ones like, oh, what's one? I think it's like there's one for hover and drill, among many others. Unfortunately, I only have one controller actually, so I can't even show it off. But uh, I want to say it's on the internet somewhere, maybe? I actually don't know. Alright, now that's act two of zone one complete. Uh, there are no bosses in this mode at all, so it's purely just platforming in both 2D and 3D. Some stages are strictly 2D, some are strictly 3D, some are a mix of the two, just like any level in the main game. Okay, let's see. There we go. I'll go over here. I don't need that. I'm actually gonna try to just zoom through these without really trying, honestly. Let me switch to the right color. Okay, so if you want to get that list, I'm actually gonna do that, just to take a shortcut. Just shove the block over lightly. Maybe you need to do that. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Actually, this isn't a shortcut. Alright, maybe it is actually that. I don't remember. I don't play this mode too long to know. I'm usually playing the main game, if I'm being honest. Ooh, 
we say we don't have boost is just sufficient to just slide. Okay, I thought I was gonna run out, but the meter drains the opposite way because I'm player two. Shortcut, baby. Am I gonna make it? Nope. <laughs> oh. That's a good video. Uh, I don't really need that. Push! Eh. Eh. Actually. Eh, I'll show this off. So this is one of the, I guess, gimmicks going on? These slot machines. Just hit the lever and you'll be rewarded with rings. Not a big deal. Ah, uh, let's see what I get, actually. Rings. 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 Ironically, the Eggman symbols are actually the highest uh, paying ones. Once you complete Act 3 of each zone, you'll get a Chaos Emerald. Seven zones. There are seven Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> yeah, but that's really all this is for. Completely optional, not necessary for the story, doesn't change the story at all. In fact, no one ever mentions the Chaos Emeralds in the story period. <laughs> Oddly enough, I think this is like the first game in a long time where the Chaos Emeralds were a non-factor. This would kind of continue. Ow, just jump right into that. <laughs> With no regard for safety. Uh, well no, they, they were a plot point in Generations. But there was no special stages and faults in getting them unless you were playing the 3DS version. There were special stages in those. It's great. But as far as the uh, HD version, nah, you just have to play the, the game normally. You just get them because of the story. Ah, I messed up. Nobody. You almost shot me. I would have been slightly upset. But yeah, so this is Act 1 of Marble Zone. They don't go in order, because I think the next one is based off of... Hmm, I don't even know actually what it's based off. I think one of them is just completely unique, since... Uh, how many zones are there in the original? Yeah, there's only six zones. Well, final zone is the seventh, I suppose, but it doesn't really count. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there when we get there. Almost there. And I gotta say, this is a lot more fun than Marvel, so... <laughs> I love how it switches to the Sonic I wasn't just using. I guess because that's player one. Uh, sure. But still. Alright, 2-2. Two -two. Heh, 2-2. Two -two. Switch! This is a quick step section. So my only gripe with this is when it's in 3D and you have to just go straight forward. It's kind of hard to see with the score just right there, smack dab in the middle. Can't see anything. I know why they did that. So uh, uh, players can have their own little HUD in the corner. But with that said, it makes things really convenient. We're trying to see the same. If I fall down a pit, we know why. Game. I had to angle that slightly up just so I can go up. Quick step. Oh yeah, like this. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't die. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I can see squat. Have I not gotten a single ring? I have not gotten a single ring. I need rings. Bam. So, in each level there are these tokens. They, you don't need to get, get them, actually. They're just there to get in case you want them. I don't, I don't know. Man. They're there for points, but they there's no ranking in this mode, so I don't give a damn about points. I'm being honest with y'all. <laughs> just want to get these young chaos thermals. Am I right? That's a shortcut if you're able to put the blocks in a particular way. Bam! Seven more levels to go. 
I'm not counting. So I'm count. Alright, 2 3, and this will give us the yellow chaos rule. Yet the yellow background was not enough to give it that way. I was expecting this <laughs> to be greater than that. I think I just wasted time because, yeah, this is a little cool. All right, here is where it will be useful. So yeah, so in this section right here, if the two you combine, you would create a, like I guess a super drill or something. I don't really know what we even call it. But yeah, it would be like a giant drill surrounded by smaller drills in the music, right? And you just have a larger hitbox to destroy enemies and such. It's a neat concept. I just... I don't know, I don't really have... Um, <laughs> a lot of my friends don't play Sonic as much as I do. Or the same fashion as me, so they're just kind of get frustrated playing with me. It's kind of hard to explain. That is what it is. I'm in, I'm in a time crunch anyway. I'll try to record all this. I'm just gonna go down here. <laughs> it just missed one. <laughs> yeah. Down here. So these things right here, if you boost them again, actually I'm not gonna do it here because <laughs> of the platform is falling. But yeah, if you, oh, I can do these. If you boost them again in the direction that you that you boosted from the first time, while they're lit up, as you say, <laughs> you'll get more points like that. But I don't give a damn about points. There we go. We are now you're halfway there. <laughs> it's been 12 minutes. Lord. Again, I don't hate the, this mode. It's a nice distraction. It's just. It gotta do a lot <laughs> for these emeralds. Okay, now this is one of the zones that actually doesn't start with the 2D youth level. Because why not? Although I think this just goes straight 2D in this point forward. All each, also each zone has 8-bit themes of the main worlds from the main game. So the first world, we had an 8-bit version of Triple Resorts. Resort. Second world, uh, excuse me, second zone, we had a version of Sweet Mountain. And in this zone, we have an 8-bit version of Starlight Carnival. But it was these six worlds. Shut up. But it did. There we go. Come over here. The token. I'm not going after all the tokens. I just happen to get all of them. No, I, I haven't even gotten all of them so far. Hope y'all using this to guide us to get tokens, cause um, don't need them. Okay, I'm gonna take my time because. Grinding 2D sections in this mode, it's kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Oh, I got all the man. Grinding in general kind of sucks in this mode, I mean, blunt. Because you can't see very far ahead. I don't know why they did that with every grind section, but it just is. Let's see. I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, I'm not even gonna boost. <laughs> Screw that. I don't give a damn if this is slow. I ain't trying to die. Her. Oh. Yes. I just happen to have a knee jerk reaction there. Oh wait, I hear the glow ring. Sweet. Yep. I was fortunate enough to be paranoid <laughs> and jump when I did. Alright, Act 2 of Game Land 3. No. I think I, this is actually based off of... <laughs> this is so 
<laughs> okay, this is based off of scrap. So. Oh man, that was great. Yeah, like I said, they're not always gonna be in order. Da, 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 da. Oh, your lives reset whenever you enter a stage, so don't fret too much about lives. You, you always start off with two, with ow, with zero counting as a life. And yeah, I remember wall jumping in Sonic 1. Yeah, that was a great feature. I understand why they did that, though, to accommodate for some of the stuff that wasn't in the original game. Actually, I have to go up, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Makes me want to play Sonic 1 again. Again. <laughs> uh. Mainly it's just Act 1. Uh, this was like Act 3 without the massive shortcut. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to tell because why not? Is there another billiard ball? No. There we go. Game Land 3, Act 3. Acquire the Chaos Emerald, please, and thank you. You they don't need it. <sighs> I'll show it off. So the question mark capsules typically have an Eggman thing in them. Just, uh, just don't go for them and you'll be fine. There are instances where it doesn't have the Eggman face in them. At that point, I ran out of boost. And then I got boost back after getting hit. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, you're just you're really taking a chance when going for those mystery capsules. Sometimes you need him, sometimes you don't. Oh, why would you do that? Well, he's gonna stay on that plane, so it's no big deal. I don't think they're in the 3D sections of these rolls, though. Wee hee 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 hee! Is the system where you are in D plane? All the powers can actually destroy him. I forgot about that. I hear you. Yeah, this is an instance where... Uh, just grab him. <laughs> where the question mark was... Uh, power. Oh, I was kind of hoping I would end up with uh, laser again, because that's just faster, but whatever. Come on. You can do it. Eh. Thug. There. Yep. Oh. Token. That's what I want. Oh my gosh, you can appear underwater. I forgot. Don't. Don't touch me. Bad touch. Bad touch that I don't need. Yeah, you can't hit me now. Oh, I'm teabagging. You ugly. Emerald 3 of 7. We're getting there. Ah, yes. Y'all are probably thinking this is probably my favorite one. Which, you know, that'd be an educated guess because I love playing with so much and it's music. But believe it or not, this is not my favorite. No, my favorite has yet to come. But yes, Act 1 of Planet... Not Planet West, of Game Land 4 is based off of Spring Yard Zone. Uh, appropriate, I should say. Get both uh, construction themed. To a certain degree. Starlight Zone is definitely the construction zone. Erp. <laughs> I scared myself right there. But I've always been a fan of Spring Yard Zone. It's kind of watered down because they took uh, out some of the multiple path sections of the original act. But uh, it's still fine the way it is. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Zach, let's go. 
token. Ah, I love this music so much. I don't remember that in the original. Oh my god, <laughs> why did they put that? <laughs> I don't even remember this playing here. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That's. <laughs> now this is work. But you know what? It's fine. It is fine. Oh, that would have been a great opportunity to put the yellow springs, although I think they were originally red in the original game as well. Those springs have been sick of it. But it would be nice if they had like yellow springs by themselves to mix it in with these, since they're supposed to mirror the original Sonic one levels. It's not that big of a deal, just, just a thought. Act 2 of Game Land 4. This is. Oh, yeah. This section. Alright, just. Supposed to win! Oh, I forgot y'all um, did that. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> Think the motorbikes are gonna attack now? I'm cautious because I believe it's gonna get it's like a weird quick step to it. Oh, I missed the token. How tragic. Oh, 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 oh. I just kinda lazily went to the right there out of my control. That's that's what's up. Alright, and now for four three. Oh, it's just a climb. No big deal. And plus, we have Cyan Laser to better get the climb. Wait a second! There we go. I had to switch to the right color. <laughs> oh no! Pfft, I forgot to move over. All of this, that thing really tell you to move over. But eh. There, I got the token. Now y'all can't say I never try. I, I wasn't trying, I just saw it and I was like, eh, I like this game. But it's not necessary in this game. Why would they give you cyan laser? <laughs> that, oh, the, a bunch of crystals, which you couldn't see off screen. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. Alright, and that we have the fourth chaos emerald. Hey, I'll look at the bright side. This isn't as long as the cleanup video. Which I just finished uh, like 30 minutes ago, but it's fine. Alright, KLM5. Based off of Aquarium Park. I want to say this is the one that's based off of Labyrinth Zone because of Aquarium Park music, Labyrinth Zone with the water. Yup! <laughs> Well, this version is actually fun compared to Labyrinth Zone and Sonic 1. Okay, I have a soft spot for Labyrinth Zone. I don't find it too terribly bad. In fact, as a kid, I have way more trouble with, hmm, uh, believe it or not, Spring Yard Zone. I don't know why. I just struggle with that more than Labyrinth Zone. Labyrinth Zone, I had a pretty comfortable time. So the only thing they changed here was they got the mess. Shortcut. I forgot about the specs. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, in the original Labyrinth Zone, there was a very cryptic shortcut you could access by actually coming down here, lifting up some of the platforms, and then making your way back to the top of the surface in this room. Then there would be a platform at the top of the water that would ferry you across the surface of this water onto a platform. Now, it took me couple years to figure it out but you can always see the end of the platform when um well, actually I'm not do that when trying to okay I was getting confused by the level layout I was saying you can see the end of the shortcut when you go to the end of the stage every time when you go the, down the normal route 
So it's just like, oh man, how do you get over there? And then by chance, I, I don't even know what even had me go back up that room. But um, it's a very, I don't know how to describe that kind of shortcut where you have to just step on these random platforms that rise when you touch them underwater, then go back up to the surface. There's like no real tell about that. It's just something people found by accident. Oh my gosh! Okay. I don't think you can get. No, you can definitely get crushed. I don't want to show her off, but you know, it's fine. Let me get this checkpoint. Uh, almost there. Yeah, so right here in the original, the shortcut would come from the left side over here. It'll meet up right here and just be like, how do you even get on that path? And it saves a lot of time too. Like a good two minutes. Whereas this age is, on average, three, four minutes. Me two and a half if you're good. Okay, five, two. Okay, we're gonna start from 3D. Eh. Take that, eggpawns. Okay, the eggpawns with the shields, let's go. So, yeah, the builds will disarm them, but if it doesn't, then you have to homing attack them twice to get rid of the shields. A homo. Oh, I referenced to Sonic Heroes, except the heroes, the shields were busted because <laughs> they took multiple hits with this. So there was like the standard shield, which uh, could be broken easily with power formation. Flight formation could not break it at all. Uh, speed formation. Uh, speed formation couldn't break them either, but they could get rid of them if they were at level three. And then you had the stone shields. I know I'm on the Sonic Heroes tangent, but uh, this is gangway now. <laughs> uh, the stone shields, anyone can break them, it's just they would take multiple hits. I've... And then the spike shields, they had a chance of damaging your character if you didn't hit it the right way. Uh, let's see. I don't know why I did that. Eh. Yeah. I missed the checkpoint. Hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> oh, it's the grind section. I'm gonna regret this so hard. <laughs> oh no, no, check no checkpoint. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I should have boosted. I'm scared. Someone hold. Okay. <laughs> Did the dash <laughs> launcher just slow me down? Oh, that's weird. I guess it had a set speed that was slower than my top speed. Oh well. I was nervous there for a second because I missed that checkpoint. I was like, huh? <gasps> Another, yeah, another climb up. What the? Okay, I was like, bruh. Because <laughs> they started going up first. I'm like, that uh, seems kind of wrong. <laughs> Gotta destroy these enemies. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Definitely not my intention. But, uh, Why are you going backwards? <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I'm. I'm not going. I'm not. No. <laughs> Spike. Where you at? Oh, it does respond. Okay. Uh, whatever. I'm already here. Oh, I get the token. Cause why not? I hear the gold ring. Let's go. Er. 
Oh wait, there's no checkpoints. Uh. <laughs> um, that's that's unfortunate. That is actually kind of makes me it makes me sad. Not gonna lie, because I heard the gold ring. It was right there. The game was like, nah, homie, you ain't shooting us today. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was a weird interaction with the block. Having a great time. I really am. Uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna try to go up instead of down. Chaos Emerald number five. All right, sit. Game Land Six, Act One, and this theme is based off of uh, this is the uh, eight-bit version of Asteroid Coaster. Look at all these points. So start off with 3D. I don't recall if this one even has... Cause let's see... Oh yeah, we haven't had the one that's Starlight Zone yet. Oh wait, you know what? Uh, this stage is notorious for not having rings. I remember this one in particular. So, it helps to hit those balloons for a ring or two when you come across them. Okay, I'm actually going to take this one. So I think the higher path is a little. Okay, I missed my chance. Or, or did I? There we go. I think the ring is right after this. Never mind. <laughs> go. Ooh, slam. I don't think it matters, but I just like using this. Haha! Game Land 6 Act 2 is a go, go. I thought I pressed B and was like, oh no. <laughs> Cover all oh, this. This is all right. Hope y'all like this tune. We're gonna be hearing this for basically the entirety of this act. Yes, this is this is what I love. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Suck it. You're basically getting your ass beat by a. A blimp in the shape of a cartoon hedgehog. I almost ran out, and that would have been tragic because that's a bottomless pit line underneath us. <laughs> I should probably pay attention. This is the life, y'all. This is this is the wisp life, causing other animals, specifically blue hedgehogs, to uh, just do this kind of stuff. I do wonder if the wisp work with anyone else. Well, their powers were used in Sonic Forces, but does that mean they're compatible with other people? Because I think just anyone in general can use it besides the custom character. I don't know. These are questions I must ask that will probably never get answered. 
And it's fine. So I took the higher route. I'm going to take the bottom route. Because... I can? I don't know. I don't really need a reason to. <laughs> I just do what I want. Urgh. Okay, so yeah, you have to destroy the enemies in order to make more wisp appear. And that's that. I hope y'all like that, because we may or may not be doing that again. Within the same game, game land. Alright, Act 3 of Game Land 6. Oh man, we're starting a 2D. I hope it doesn't mean we're gonna. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yep, this is life. So, okay, psych. Wasn't doing that though. We are fine, y'all. Boom. Oh wait, let me get this, because this can be a little tricky at times, and I'm not exactly practicing this part. Or in game in general, I'm actually doing. Pretty good. Alright, <laughs> that momentum almost killed me, y'all. I'm. I think I'm. Let me just go here. Alright. Because I am remembering something where I need the Horror Wisp when I act it out. But I don't quite remember where that is. I passed a checkpoint taking that higher route. I should be fine, but I get a little anxious. What? Okay. <laughs> Oh! Oh yeah, I need a uh, hover. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait it out. And there we go, Emerald number six. Almost all seven chaos emeralds, and then with that, we can get a discount at Zaxby's. No, that's not what's gonna happen. I wish it would happen because I love Zaxby's, but that's not gonna happen. All right. 7-1. Let's go. Game is seven. All right, so this is an 8-bit version of someone we haven't been to yet. It's in-game. But uh, that's going to be after this part, actually. But yeah, this is my favorite of the 8-bit remixes. I love it so much. The original theme is crazy good as well. All right, and this is the start. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> All right. But yes, this is. <laughs> I also train it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is <laughs> an epic remix of someone we have been to. The original version is really great as well. We're gonna hear that after this part. That. Get. Not a really shortcut, but. You can get rings. I didn't like y'all. That looks funny. Mmm, the token's down there. Where do I get there? I mean, if I don't get it, it's a problem to me. I'll just do this. I don't want to touch that. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. I kind of just want to do this. Oh no! I don't think this is the right way, because I remember this leading to... Well, it's slightly different. It looks like they combined X, actually. Hmm. I think they combined a couple X. Get out! <laughs> right in front of the goal, yeah. Ah, 
Act 2 of Game Land 7. We got a bit of a climb to go. I'll go like Rocket. Oh, this goes into uh, don't think I ever believe it, this guy's uh, When the Tinder Wi-Fi was a thing, I thought I was gonna get clipped by the platform and just be stuck. <laughs> I would have been kind of upset. Get, get up there, get there. I don't care, but that's all good. I really don't. <laughs> but uh, when Nintendo Wi-Fi was a thing, compare your scores to others online, and it went for Game Land as well, actually. And that was, I think this was the actually the act where I had gotten the number one spot for a while. Because all I really did was just spam the Rocket Blitz over and over again. Because the leaderboards go by score. They do not care about your time at all. I don't know why. But uh, I think someone beat it after it was like a year later where someone finally got it. And then I tried to beat it again, but I didn't remember. I couldn't remember at the time how I did it, so I just gave up after like a day. <laughs> but yeah, that was a. Damn. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> but that was like a, uh, a neat little thing to do. There's no Wi-Fi in this game. I wish there was more, like maybe... Fair spot. Raising against others. Because the, the Sonic DS games did that quite a bit, starting with uh, Sonic Rush Adventure, actually. I know in the first Sonic Rush you can race others, but Sonic Rush Adventure you can play either Sonic Blaze, Sonic Rush, I think mean, Sonic Colors DS yes, you can race others, and I think compared to times even. Sonic Generations you can race others. Ow! And the, the multiplayer in Generations was actually kind of interesting because there would be these uh, distortions in space which would slow you down. I think they could revert your controls as well. <laughs> And well, that really hasn't been, been that big of a focus in Sonic for, as a recent. But I'd like to see it come back because this is actually a pretty neat idea as well. I think being able to either cooperate with your friend or uh, compete for the highest score while trying to reach the goal. And just taking over your friends in general is fun. But come on, let's be real. All right. Act three. Wow, this is taking almost an hour. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's... it's well, it is twenty stages actually, so that makes sense. I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to boost, and <laughs> boosted definitely did not come out. Okay, I remember this being somewhat of a beaver. It doesn't actually utilize all the color powers, which you would probably expect it. Uh. I don't know why he can do it. Okay. Yeah, if you kind of maneuver around the blocks, you can just uh, ignore the drilling to the rock. <laughs> Not even gonna mess with the rock. I'm just gonna zoom, zoom, zoom to the end. Oh, the song doesn't activate the. Hmm. I am actually surprised. Oh no, I missed the token. Oh no, hold on. Eh. Okay, we have to defeat the enemies here. They'll lower down these bad boys. Don't need to defeat all of them here, but they're kind of looking at me funny. I like the little sound they're making, like a actual pool table. Oh, they make discs too. That's kind of cool. Don't hit me. More water. Yeah, the focus is just. Ow, I uncurled. It's just a uh, rocket in. <laughs> rocket in drill. I was trying to use drill. This is actually kind of slow. <laughs> no, let me get this.
I was kind of hoping I would run out before then. Extra careful. Actually, let's just be able to rock it up here. Do you? What's up here? I don't... Oh, this is a shortcut. If I used rocket earlier. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for when I inevitably 100% this game again. Because we are done, ladies and gentlemen. All seven emeralds. And with that, we unlock something optional. As you can tell by the glowing satellite in the bottom left corner. Which is where the options are. Alright, so let me show that off real quick. And the final option is Supersonic, which you can turn on and off. And Supersonic functions like the exact same way as it, he did in uh, the 2D games. Collect 50 rings. Uh, in this case, you would press the color activation button to transform into Supersonic, and you, you would just continue to play as him until you run down. I'll, I'll show him off in the stage. Let's go to... So with the activation of Supersonic, when Supersonic's on, I should say, the only wisps that you can get are the white wisps. All the wisps are deactivated because Supersonic is actually capable of doing most of what they can do and for the few things he can't do like spike climbing on walls and such the level design will actually change slightly so they'll add springs uh, platforms to accommodate for the stuff he can't do so if you want to play a more traditional style of supersonic or wait is he on hmm hold on he is on right <laughs> We're about to find out. There we go. Oh, let me get off this platform. So. Okay, so yeah, so uh, right there is where a spike castle usually is, but it's just floated away because Supersonic is activated. So yeah, let's turn to Supersonic. Just press one button, it goes super fast. And for stuff like that, it'll just automatically get amazing. Yeah. Kind of busted. Just kind of rocking the enemies like so. And you get a color bonus while you're supersonic as well. So, I, funny enough, he doesn't have stupid double jump. But, he jumps higher than Sonic anyway, so you're not missing out on much. And yeah, the Super Sonic, the first uh, 3D game to actually have him playable in regular stages. Because, let's see, Sonic Adventure, he was tied to uh, story purposes. Sonic Adventure 2, but this is the same deal. Uh, let's see. Heroes, with the same deal. This is only for a boss. Yeah, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, basically, every 3D game after that. So let's just. He was story related. Whereas, uh, the emeralds are n never mentioned at all in the story. But it's optional to get the emeralds. But it's nice to see Super Sonic back in this form. But let's just try this out. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because we're almost done anyway. But, ladies and gentlemen, we only have one thing left to do, and that is head through the final part of the game, which is exactly what we do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care, y'all.